Good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us today to learn about Syosset Sports Trap, which is a new program this summer that we will be piloting at Syosset. We are super excited to pilot this program in hopes that the children love it and we can expand it to other campuses and other regions as the years go on. So let's get started. If you happen to have any questions throughout, please post them in the chat or at the end, be happy to answer any questions for you. Okay, so Syosset Sports Track. This summer, we are super excited to be piloting this program in Syosset. It has been developed for all children, especially children who love and enjoy sports. So for the 2021 season, we're gonna be focusing on seven different sports, plus the kids when they're in the game room will play eSports on the video game systems. And in addition, we have focused trips on and around focusing on sports, different sports. The sports track kids will be taking five trips this summer. Um, one, almost every week, starting in week two. And they will, in addition, be going swimming and bowling with the campuses as well. Okay, the sports we're going to be focusing on are going to be baseball, basketball, football, flag football, floor hockey, soccer, troop ball, volleyball, and any other sports that the kids happen to show interest in and would like to learn about. This is our Syasa campus. As you can see, we have a large field, which we will be doing most of our sports in. In addition, we have a baseball field, which is where the kids will be playing baseball. We have blacktop basketball courts, and we also have a huge indoor gym space where the kids will be playing as well. Syasa has been, um, focused on sports for a few years now. However, this year we're going to have a specific track for those kids. And kids are welcome from all 11 campuses, not just, this is not just for the Syosset kids. We welcome all kids from all campuses to come and join us to pilot this wonderful new program. Okay. So what we're gonna talk about is arrival and dismissal. We'll talk about the camp day, the schedule for the sports track children, um, the health and wellness of the sports track children and registration information. So some of the sports we're gonna be focusing. The first one is baseball. Baseball will be starting probably the second week of camp. Um, it'll run for about a week and a half to two weeks. And the kids will learn in the beginning to develop their skills in baseball, the rules of baseball, different, um, different drills that they can go through daily to improve their skills. And that will be about the first hour, hour and a half of their morning. After that, they will play a game and then it'll be lunchtime. So the kids will be out on the baseball field for about three hours in the morning. Built into there will be bathroom breaks, rest breaks, water breaks, and then they'll go in for lunch. Once they're done with that, there'll be an afternoon sport for about an hour in the gym which will be different than baseball. So with baseball, their afternoon sport might be European handball or jute ball, which is played in the gym. And then the kids will go to either the game room or to STEM class where they'll have other fun, start to relax. And then it'll basically be the end of the day. The kids will also enjoy water time to cool down after their sports activities for the day. They will have time on the inflatable water slide, and the other water fun that will be brought to camp as well. Kids will also be playing basketball. There'll be a week of basketball where they'll learn different skills, different plays, they'll go through different drills, same schedule as baseball, just focusing now on basketball. They will be able to use the outdoor courts as well as the indoor courts. So they will not be outside all day. They will be inside for half the day, outside for half the day, focusing on basketball. We will be starting our sports program with flag football. They will start the first week with flag football. They will be outside on the field, practicing drills, running patterns, learning plays, and actually playing flag football so that they can improve their skills as well and just have fun. Next is shoot ball. Shoot ball is not a game that many kids know. It will be an afternoon sports activity in the gym because it is played in the gym. 
they will learn how to play jukebox and then they will play jukebox. And it is a super fun sport, even though it is not a well-known sport. Kids are usually apprehensive about learning this. However, once they learn it, they enjoy it so much. All they want to do when they go to the gym is play. So we will teach this to the kids early in the summer. This way it can be played throughout the summer. Next is volleyball. We will be focusing for about a week, week and a half on volleyball. They will develop their skills, learn the rules, and play volleyball games inside and outside. We will have an outdoor volleyball court set up as well as an indoor volleyball court set up so that the kids can be inside and outside throughout the day. Okay, next we have field trips. So the sports tracks campers are going to be going on five field trips. Three of them will be specific just for them. Two of them will be for the entire campus. So specific to the sports track children will be obstacle athletes. Next will be the gravity vault. And last will be wild play at Jones Beach. In addition, when the entire campus goes to Adventureland, the sports track kids will join us at Adventureland. And when the older kids, grades three and up, go to City Field for the Mets game, they will be invited to go to the Mets game as well with those kids. So the Sports Tracks kids will be getting a total of five trips this summer. The first trip is Wild Play. Wild Play is an outdoor facility at Jones Beach. It is an outdoor obstacle course where the kids climb on nets, go on rope ladders, climb those rope um, jungle gyms, use zip lines, they're harnessed so that it is safe for them to be climbing up on these things. And it, it's a fun trip. It, I walked by it the other day at Tom's Beach and it looked awesome. So I'm super excited for the kids to go on this trip. Let's go. Can we go back? Let's see, hold on. I just need to go back to the slides. Sorry, everybody. Okay. Next, we have um, obstacle athletes. Obstacle athletes is an indoor obstacle course for the kids to play on. It's sort of like an American Ninja Warrior type of thing where they have different obstacles for the kids to go through. And this would be in indoor for the kids. Okay, as you can see, they have like monkey bar type of things. It's a lot of aerial things, a lot of climbing and bouncing and just general sports things for the kids to do. And um, the last one is Gravity Vault. It's an indoor rock climbing wall facility that the kids will be going to and they will be, it is right here in the top corner above Wild Play. Um, the kids are harnessed up, they're taught how to rock climb and then they climb. They climb all different types of walls, all different types of things. So again, super fun, super great for the sports track kids. And these trips are exclusive for the sports track kids. The other third and fourth, fifth and sixth graders will not be joining them on these trips. Um, and these are at no additional cost to the parents. Nothing is at an additional cost except for the city field trip, which every year is an additional cost. So health and wellness. Um, as always, all of our staff is trained in, our senior staff is trained in CPR and first aid. And that goes for our sports track staff as well. Both the counselor and the group leader will be trained in CPR and first aid so that the kids are always safe and their wellness is always cared for. In addition, they will be trained in anaphylaxis response, which the entire staff is always trained in. This way the kids are safe and we know that they're having a great time with their health and wellness put at the forefront as always. Okay, so looking back at 2020, our camp season last year was a great camp season. And this is really why the sports track was developed because we noticed that majority of the kids in this age band were looking to play sports all day long. And so we decided to develop this program for those kids because they were on campus and it kind of, there was a red light that said, hey, we need a sports track. So that is why the sports track was developed at Syosset in particular and for all of Camps Ross. And again, we welcome everyone from all 11 campuses to come and join us so that we can um, 
enjoy this great program that we're going to be developing for all of these campers. I mean, what kid does not love sports? So that is what we learned from 2020. And in addition, our campers were kept safe last summer. We had zero cases of COVID. So we do wanna reiterate that with the parents that we can keep the kids physically active and playing sports at a safe distance and with their safety in mind. And in addition, these campers will be asked to join all of the different theme days that we go through in camp and participate in all the different activities, but with the focus staying on sports and developing their skills and just having a good time with sports. So looking forward to 2021, we are hoping that we can continue what we did last summer and add to it. So as we continue, we're adding to the fun that the campers will have. Okay, registration information. So for the sports track in particular, campers can register for anywhere from one to eight weeks. They can register for three to five days a summer, a week. Um, it is the regular camp registration. However, when you get, after you register, you're asked to opt into different um, things in your Camp in Touch account. It's usually where you go to opt into soccer shots or Educamp. There is now a button there for the Syosset Sports Track. And if you want your child to participate, that is how you register them for the sports track. So regular camp registration and then the sports track button in the um, options of your Camp in Touch. And your camper can register for one week. And then if they like it so much, they can continue to register for the rest of the summer. We are not holding them. And in addition, if your camper is coming from another campus, we ask them to try it out for a week. If they're not happy, they can go back to their campus. Or let's say your camper just wants to come for two or three weeks of the summer to say as a sports track. They're welcome to do that. And then they can go back to their home campus if they like, or they can stay at Sayasa, whatever makes them happy, whatever makes you happy as a parent. Okay, so at this point, if anybody has any questions. No? Okay, if you have any questions, please feel free to call the main office or email us and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Hope everybody has a wonderful day and I hope to see you this summer at Zyasset for the sports track.